I'm doing a little mini series on essential oils and application. Um, a couple nights ago, I did a video on popular carrier oils that you can use for your essential oils um, and just some different containers and roller bottles and spray tops and um, different ways you can keep your essential oils um, for easy application or most common ap application methods. Um, tonight, I'm just going to cover some just very brief applications um, that I tend to see on a regular basis um, or that most people tend to use. Um, and so, and the way I'll do that, I just kind of picked a couple of oils that I have been using lately and I will just will show you how I've been applying those oils and maybe some different ways that you may want to try them as well. Um, what I present tonight, um, maybe it doesn't work for you. Um, Maybe it's something you already, you already know, or it just might be something new for you. So I hope that whatever I present um, in some way or some format um, works well for you. Um, so the first one I like to talk about is lavender. Um, lavender is our most common oil, I believe. Um, it's the one that I get the most requests for. Um, and I think it has so many, so many different uses. I, I, I love, 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 love lavender. Um, I tend to use it a lot, of course, for soothing or relaxation. Um, but I also like to use it um, for headaches as well. It works really good for me. And so what I do with this one, uh, if I have a headache and I'm using it for that, um, I open it up like so. And I will just tip the bottle over and I put it on the sides right here on the lobes and I put it across my forehead and I put it at the very top of my spine right here and I just kind of rub it in. Um, and every time I go to one of those points, I do just kind of redab because that, that's less than the drop when I do all of that. Um, now, lavender works for me with headaches. Lavender does not work for my husband when he has headaches. And so he likes to use past tense. And past tense comes in a really nice roller bottle all ready for you, which is really awesome. Um, and um, he does the same things. So on the side right here, across the forehead, and on the top of the spine on his back as well. Um, and I, something else I should say too about application and oils. Um, Sometimes you apply it once and it's just not doing it for you. So what I always suggest is wait 20 minutes, reapply it. Um, sometimes you might have to do that three times. Sometimes you might have to do it through your whole day. Um, the great thing about these essential oils is that you can do that and it's going to be okay. Whatever you don't need, your body is just going to flush out. Um, that is a great benefit of using the essential oils. Um, let's see, my next one here that I use every morning and every night is On Guard. And what I do with that one, I just do one or two drops in the palm of my hand. I rub my hands together and again I just massage the top of my spine back here. I just do like that. Um, for my kids, I have an On Guard roller bottle and I do this on the bottom of their feet every morning and every night. Uh, my husband also uses the roller bottle because I do it for him. Um, and so this is really nice and easy when you're applying it to somebody else. I think the roller bottles are the way to go on that one. Um, Malaluca is another one that I'm using a lot right now. I've been having just kind of a sore, icky throat lately. And so um, I've been using this one actually right on my throat. And so I just apply it um, here on the sides of my throat here. Then again, the back of my neck, upper spine area. Um, and it does really, really well. Um, sometimes I have to use this one every 20 minutes um, to kind of really help with that sore throat. Um, and if I get, if it gets really bad, then I put a drop of this and a spoonful of honey and I take it internally. Not a big fan of that. I will say that, but I also will say that it works like magic. It will, seriously, it for me anyways, it completely knocks out a sore throat. So when it gets to a point where I'm like, all right, I'm absolutely done with a sore throat, I will do that and it works great. Um, others have done that with oregano as well and I heard it works great. I actually haven't tried oregano in that way um, just because I feel like oregano is really strong and I don't necessarily like the taste of that oil at all. 
So I try not to go there if I don't have to. Um, I use oregano a lot on the bottom of my feet though if I have a cough and it ten tends to work really, really well. And the oregano is one um, that I always recommend to dilute. Um, you don't have to, but I always recommend to dilute that one. And now, I think as you saw me applying, I was applying a lot of my essential oils from kind of like the, the neck up. Um, that just happens to be because, and I'm a mom, I'm really busy, and I'm always on the go, and you know, I already have my shoes on, my socks on, I got the kids in the car, and we're ready to go for the day, and I'm like, oh no, I forgot to put my oils on. And so, because of that, I tend to put mine on um, on the go, and it's just easier to apply on the upper half of my body. Um, now when it comes to my kids and my husband, um, they tend to put theirs on on the bottom of their feet um, and usually it's because I'm putting them on for them and um, I just tend to do it on the bottom of their feet. It's easier for me. They get a little foot massage. Um, it's nice bonding time as well. Um, another thing too, the reason why applying oils um, is my favorite method instead of taking them internally is because you're getting two effects. So you you apply the oils, you kind of you're getting it through your skin, right? And then you're also smelling the oils as well, which is another way of getting the oils. And so a lot of times what I'll do is like let's say after I, I'm doing my kids' feet, I will actually, you know, palm my hand in this way and I will just and then that's another way I'm getting the effects of the oils. Um, and I actually have my kids do the same thing. Um, my older daughter is seven and she actually can rub her own oils into her feet. She just started doing that and she is so excited about that. And so when she's done rubbing the oils in her feet, um, I also have her just kind of inhale and then kind of exhale. And it's a really soothing, calming um, experience and they really like it and it's just, um, it's easy to do. And so again, when you apply them on the outside, you get, you get two benefits doing it that way. Um, some videos to come, I will um, maybe show you how we use our spray bottles. Um, I, my last video, I didn't talk about, um, diffusing oils. Um, that is a wonderful way to get your oils and it smells great. Um, and it's, it's good for everybody. Everyone benefits from you using your diffuser. Um, and so I hope to, um, have a diffuser here next time so I can show you how to use a diffuser. All diffusers are, are different. So the one I might show you it might not be the one that you have. Um, they're just different kinds, different sizes. You can buy from different websites. So um, I will do my best to, to pick one that maybe is the most co common kind um, that people use. Um, I think that's all I'll do tonight. And tomorrow I will do another video. If you have any questions or comments or something that you would like to see or you want more information about, please do let me know down in the comment section. Um, there's a lot to learn um, about essential oils and so I try to do my very best not to give you too much too fast. Um, but if you are wanting more or if there's a certain topic you would like to know more about, if you just let me know, I can make sure to cover that in my next video. Thank you so much and I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.